Hi guys and welcome to ostensibly an unboxing video. Now AMD basically said, hey you can't review this quite yet but since you have them and we kind of want the free marketing, feel free to do an unboxing video if you fancy and of course because I can almost guarantee at least someone like Kyle from Bitwit is probably going to do one, uh, I thought I'd do one as well. So this is basically just an unboxing of the Ryzen 2 or Ryzen 2nd generation press kit um, where we have the CPUs in here and then motherboards and RAM in here and that's pretty much that. The reviews for these chips will be out on the 19th so make sure you stick around uh, and make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already so that you can see the, these reviews as soon as they come out and feel free to put the bell notification thing on if you fancy um, so you can get notified as well. So first things first let's take a look at the CPUs that's what we're mostly interested in right so they come in the nice or at least my ones anyway come in this nice silver uh, sort of Ryzen AMD branded box and open up pretty easily. We do have a little flyer on top which includes information about both the 26 and 2700 although we'll keep that safe for now uh, and otherwise inside the box we have both the 2600X and the 2700X. These are the only two chips as far as I'm aware anyway that are being launched at this time but we'll likely see a full lineup pretty soon afterwards. Um, like the, uh, the pre-leaks that suggested these are what the boxes look like, so um, pretty similar to the original Ryzen boxes, just with a slight difference of the Wraith Max cooler on the side, I believe, the, the RGB style one, um, which does look pretty awesome, and otherwise, obviously, on the sides, we have the two Ryzen chips available to look at. So the 2700X comes with the Wraith Max cooler, that is the big style one with the RGB rings on the top, whereas the 2600X comes with the Wraith Spire, that one's still an LED unit but it's just a little bit on the smaller side although thermally I don't think there's that much of a difference but still pretty impressive coolers and definitely awesome that they come in the box and of course you can I believe anyway especially for the higher end ones get them without coolers so if you want to save a little bit of money if you're going for a custom water cooling solution or something like that anyway then you can uh, go for that option. Now I'm actually going to save taking them out of the box for the full review so make sure you stick around for that but let's jump in to what's in the larger box. So inside this box we we have this uh, sheet which is basically kind of talking about Ryzen 2 which is obviously the, the kind of key topic uh, if I have enough space for this um, and then inside the box we have the Aorus uh, Gaming 7 X470 Aorus board this is the uh, Gaming 7 Wi-Fi model uh, and I'm actually really pretty impressed with the board just even kind of looking at it uh, the the biggest thing that I'm most impressed by is actually the VRM heat sinks this isn't just your usual kind of lump of metal on the, the VRMs and just hope that it heat sinks enough so that the, the VRMs don't end up heat soaking from it. This is an actual heat sink, like a thin array with a heat pipe to the top section. Like this is a beefy VRM heat sink. Also mentions that it has a 10 plus 2 VRM power phase design, which should be again really impressive for overclocking. And I'm going to be very excited to see how far we can push both of these chips on this and the other board as well. Just before we jump into the other board, we also have some G Skill Sniper X RAM. This is is a 16 gig 3400 kit so perhaps that means that uh, AMD is pretty impressed with the overall speed that you can get from uh, the new Ryzen chips so we'll have to give this a test but uh, if you can get 3400 that'll be really pretty impressive. And finally let's take a look at the other motherboard now this one is one that uh, I've had a lot of requests for over the years uh, and it's actually the ASRock X470 Tai Chi Ultimate. This is uh, actually again a really impressive motherboard I cannot wait to take a look at it and see what the the deal is with it but uh, yeah it, it looks pretty impressive too pretty beefy so we'll have to uh, give it a shot and see I will do a full review of everything on the table by the RAM um, and uh, well I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna go about it just yet whether I'm gonna do separate videos for the uh, two chips or whether I'm gonna do a combined video like most people will probably be doing um, we'll have to see but uh, yeah, this should be this should be really good. I'm really looking forward to testing all of this. And if you have any uh, suggestions or anything or any questions about anything here uh, that can't be answered and like, that can be answered before the review, which probably isn't too much, then feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. As I said, if you are new to the channel or you're not already subscribed and you want to see any of these reviews, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. I do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday anyway. 
with some tech FAQ videos on Saturdays as well. And um, while well, the, the actual CPUs themselves, I think, are coming out on a Thursday, um, the those will come out on NBA time, so it's slightly off schedule, but otherwise everything will be uh, kind of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe Saturdays and Sundays if I just have too much stuff to do, which is very possible. I'm also getting the Asus um, X470 Hero boards. So that should also be really awesome to take a look at as well. If you want to support the channel and help me make these videos and help me test all of this stuff, then uh, feel free to check out the Patreon link in the description down below where you can support me directly or the Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links, which also massively help me out and genuinely support the channel and keep me, you know, keep the lights on, keep the, the roof over my head. So thank you to everyone who does use that. You can also check out some of the other videos that are over here somewhere, kind of slightly hidden by the the, uh, the tech on the table. Uh, and otherwise, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all uh, in the next couple of days and also on the 19th for the full review.